What's up, puppy? Huh. Well, before we get started on the video, and I'm going to show you this uh, this nifty little trap. Uh, I, I started the video out and fire truck engines that sounds this horrible it, it, it sounded like something was going down across the street so we jump in the UTV real quick and we went to go check it out and uh, this is what happened so like I was saying we were uh, we're trying to film that our video today and I couldn't I had I couldn't start filming because of all this ruckus going on in the neighborhood next door and uh, I was it was to the point where I was like Oh, this has got to be a really bad fire or something's going on. Let's go. Let's go be Snoopy and check it out. And we found ourselves in the middle of a parade. Mom's going to freak out when she finds out we were in a parade. <laughs> Did you think you were going to be in a parade today? No. <laughs> We bought this little contraction. You guys have probably seen this on Facebook and all over the internet. And I really wanted to try it because it might be the the problem solver or it might be the solution to uh, the issue I have around here because I've got an issue with mice. And this issue has cost me probably about $2,500 in damage on my property. And uh, I just bought a new car. And, they're hitting that too, so let me tell you about it. So not long ago, my Ford Fusion had the wiring harness to the steering control chewed completely through by mice, yeah. So I had to replace the whole front steering uh, of that car because that steering is electronic and it was ruined. So I had to get a whole new steering system. <laughs> We're gonna take care of that today. Uh, we had to get a whole new steering system for that car. That cost about $2,500 to do that and uh, my new car, well, they're eating my new car too. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is the engine cover to my new car. I took it off and I haven't been running it because, well, it doesn't need to be insulated because it's not winter time, but I'll put this back on during winter. But you can tell the mice have just been chewing this all the hell. Guess what? I'm still hungry. And uh, my new car? I don't want it eaten up by mice. So I've tried a lot, a lot of uh, those poison blocks and sticky traps to keep the mice down around here. And I can't throw bare poison blocks out because of the animals we have around here. And we don't want a, uh, like a Sawyer Ridge situation where our new uh, puppy Gunder gets into that because that'd be catastrophic. And we don't want the little Brody puppy getting into it either. So I've been seeing this contraction on Facebook and just all over the internet and i'm not i ha, they didn't sponsor me for this i'm making this on my own to see if it works or not so if it's garbage i'll let you know so you guys have probably seen this little device right floating around on the internet about how it sits on a five gallon bucket and a mouse will come up in here and he'll get down there to the bait and this opens up and puts them in the bucket and resets one thing i can say about this is do not get the china one off of amazon don't do it. So obviously this thing's called flip inside. This is the one you want to get. The reason I say don't get the one that's made in China, uh, because there's a couple of these on Amazon. This is the American made one. You're gonna pay double the cost to get the American one. It is what it is. This thing ran me about 44 bucks, I wanna say. Uh, the China one's gonna cost you about 25. The reason I say don't get the China one, because they're very low quality, even though this is all molded plastic, they're very low quality and it's gonna take you like three months to get it. When I ordered mine from China. It comes from China. The, I went the cheap route, that thing didn't show up at all. Like, said it was gonna ship, said it was gonna ship. After like three months, I knew it was coming from China, so I knew it was gonna take a long time. So after, excuse me. So after three, so after three months, I gave up on it and I broke down and ordered the American version of the same thing. Read the reviews on the China ones and I'm really glad I didn't get them because one thing they said is the shipping's absolutely horrible and two, that they're not really that good of quality. So American made, we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna see how it works. So like I said, this thing comes apart. What you wanna do, at least what I've seen, the instructions really don't say much. They say to put bait in the bucket 
or they put bait right here so they have to get to the back side. What we're gonna use today is good old creamy Jif. So we're just gonna put a big old glob right there. I don't know any mouse that can resist peanut butter and or cheese. So we got a big old glob back there. Mm, peanut butter. And we're gonna set this on the bucket. So the instructions are pretty simple. Nothing really to it. Now, we're just gonna stick this thing on here. So easy it snaps on this old bucket we got here. So far, it's a tight fit. Uh, when I got this all out, it was kind of all warped and stuff. So I was wondering if it was gonna take its shape. Oh yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention. It comes with its own ladder. So, do 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 do. Ooh, peanut butter. What a tasty treat. Gone. It's a trap. In the bucket they go. Only the fastest mouse can make it. Now they say you should put oil or water in the bucket, then it becomes a lethal trap. Uh, we're probably gonna wind, we're gonna wind up doing that. And I'd have to say. It's probably a little bit better of a death than uh, having your gut full of poison and go through that agonizing pain. I know it's a, it's drowning, but I don't know anybody who relocates mice. If there's a mice rescue out there, you let me know and I'll send these mice their way. So I set that trap in the shed there. It's where I get a lot of activity for nests and stuff. You can't put anything in there and mice will just chew it to pieces. So. Uh, We'll come and check on that in a few days and see how many mice that we caught. So, see you in a few seconds. Well, a few seconds for you. It's going to be a couple of days for me. So, all right, see you in a little bit. So, needless to say, we didn't catch any mice in that mouse trap. It wasn't the mouse trap fault, it was the bait. Peanut butter does not hold well to a slick plastic surface in 100 degree heat. Just ain't going to happen. So, what we're going to do is we're going to wind up putting grain in the bottom of that bucket. I didn't have any mice to show you and I really didn't feel like waiting to finish the video until I caught mice because I found something else out that was very interesting about this trap. Now, the trap is made in the USA, like I said, by Rhino Corp. Uh, it's a small business, American made, like I said, guys just starting out. But a Sean Woods, a YouTuber, made a video about this trap and it went viral. He told uh, Rhino Corp, you guys better be prepared to fulfill these orders because this is a great mouse trap and you guys are gonna blow up. He told him probably should have at least a thousand traps made. Well, a little less than uh, about two months ago, he had 3,000 traps sell in the matter of like a couple days and things got on back order. So uh, saying that, he was doing pretty, pretty good. The only problem was is that China caught on to this they stole uh sean wood's youtube video his footage and they started putting it on tiktok they started putting it on facebook they started putting it anywhere they possibly could to sell the china knockoffs so when i say don't buy the china knockoffs i'm telling you don't buy them because they're garbage and they're stealing their video and uh making money off it and screwing the little guy who tried so hard to get his company off the ground and he's still getting it off the ground because it is it's a great product like i said i didn't catch any but that's my fault there's plenty of videos if you go to sean wood's channel um he has plenty of video of this mousetrap in action now i'm not giving him a big old shout out because he's a big big youtuber and he tests mouse traps out all the time but um I'm kind of using this footage and he doesn't want anybody using this footage because of copyright issues because of this issue. But hopefully he'll let me do it because I am actually sticking up for him and this company, hoping they can do well. So, hey man, Sean, if you're watching this, dude, don't report me, man. I'm just trying to help you guys out. <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna do a follow-up video on this. We're gonna, we're gonna put some grain in this bucket and then we're gonna try this again later. And uh, we'll do a follow-up to see how it does. But peanut butter is not working out. So I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you on the next episode. What, America bothering you? You got a problem with America? Oh, man.